and welcome. In Second Life meshes can have up to 8 texturizable areas, so called texture faces. And each texture face can be assigned to a different texture. So, we do not need to put all texture information into just one single image. But how can we configure Blender to create a separate texture for each of the object's texture faces? In this tutorial I show you how to achieve that. This is the kettle from the Kettle Quest tutorial. Right now it is just a simple mesh object. In order to get separate texture faces, we have to assign different materials to different parts of the object. I want to separate the interior, the bottom and the kettle body. I add two seams to separate the three parts as follows. Now I define one more vertical seam on the kettle body. This extra seam will later be used by the UV unwrapper to create an almost flat UV map. I open the Material Properties section and add three material slots to my object, and assign three different materials to the slots, one for the bottom, one for the interior, and one for the kettle body. Let's switch to Face Selection Mode. Now I can select the kettle texture face by hovering over the kettle body, then press L. Then I assign the selected vertices to the corresponding material slot. Let's hide the just assigned faces by pressing H. Proceed in the same way for the interior and the kettle bottom. Finally unhide all vertices by pressing Alt-H. Let's now do another preparation and adjust the light setup. Go to Object Mode, and select the default light source. Go to the Object Data Properties section and there, switch the type of lamp to Hemi. In the Property bar locate the Display Options and enable Textured Solid. Finally set the viewport shading to solid. Now select the object. Go to edit mode, select all vertices. And press U. The unwrap menu pops up. Select the first unwrap option. Now you see the created UV map in the UV image editor. So far we have one map. Now let us assign different target images for the different parts of the map. Deselect all vertices, and enable the pin tool in the UV editor. Now select the kettle interior only. Then create a new image of a convenient size. You may want to unwrap the interior again to fill out the new image. Press U and again select Unwrap. Now we waste much less texture space. Then hide the faces of the interior by pressing H. OK, I will not create a separate image for the bottom. I just select all remaining faces, and create another image of a convenient size. Let us do one small optimization here. Since the kettle bottom will not need much detail, I scale its UV faces down a bit and move them to a more convenient location. Then I pin them, by pressing P. Now the unwrapper will keep the pinned faces at their location. I also change the image size to 512 times 256 pixels. and then unwrap again. The pinned UV faces remain at their location as expected, while all other faces get rearranged. Now let's go to Object Mode. 
Select the Render Properties section and locate the Bake tab. Select Bake Mo Textures, and then Bake. The output of the Bake tool is now distributed to both images. Let's become more curious and start a full bake. And again we see, that the output is distributed to both images. This trick can be used for an arbitrary amount of texture faces, and for Second Life you can bake up to 8 textures per object in one single shot. So, you only need to remember to use the pin tool, and while assigning a subset of faces to an image, ensure that all other faces are hidden. Thank you for watching.